I love you because you're a fellow gig driver. But you are a clown. All right, there's the wallet. So that's where we go, right here. You know Costco doesn't do the Apple Pay, apparently? Well, when I opened up my Instacart app today, I did not expect to have the kind of day I did. But that is a gig economy, highs and lows. Today's video is not going to be positive. Your boy is not in a great mood. But I show y'all everything. And when I make a mistake, y'all going to see it. If I run into something I think could be helpful so you can learn from me, you're going to see it. Let's see what we get today. All right, welcome back to Mr. Bet on You. We got our first batch, $44 Costco. It's a double order. That dog's tripping. And we're going to go shop it and we'll drop it off. 44 bucks, not a bad way to start the day. Last item, 10 minutes, done. Easy money, 14 items, one item. You know, Costco doesn't do the Apple Pay, apparently. So I've been using Apple Pay with Instacart. Some of y'all might've seen that last week. Shame on me, I guess. I thought Costco was the best place ever. Go to use my Apple Pay. They said, we don't do Apple Pay for Instacart. I went and typed, I clicked on the Apple Pay on the, on the little card reader and it said it went through. It said it was done. They don't do that. So I just wasted 15 minutes here and I lost $44. Now I got to call Instacart and cancel this batch. I knew there was a reason I didn't like Costco. They're trash. I don't care what anybody says. Costco is trash. How do you not pay? I, what the... I'm pissed. I'm not going to lie. Like that right there. Like this is, I show you guys everything. Just keep your physical card with you. When I left the house today, I didn't think about it. Usually I keep it in my little wallet thing here. And I think it's in one of my other jackets. So I don't have it, but I thought, well, I've been using Apple pay. Not a big deal. Right. With Instacart, you can actually pay yourself and they'll reimburse you. I haven't done that with Instacart. Maybe you guys, I'm not doing that. The girl, the late, the cashier was extremely like rude. Uh, I said, why, why doesn't Apple pay work? It looked like it went. And she goes, Instacart. And she snapped. I was like, I'm gone. Nope. Not doing business with y'all. I, I cannot even like, so I just wasted time. I feel bad for these customers. Somebody else will bring them their stuff. Cause it's a really good order. But y'all know me. I hate wasting time. Like I cannot stand it. So now I know when I see people with the little stupid Instacart lanyards, they got the little card there. They're like walking around with their lanyards and stuff. Like, I guess that's why. So shame on me, but man, that store, right? Listen, I, I don't like coming to Costco. Y'all know this. I clown Costco. I think it's the most overrated store. I think it's just complete gluttony and I, I cannot stand it, but I make money with them. So call me a hypocrite. I don't care. But how do you not take, I, how do you not, what, 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 what is the reasoning that you don't do that? That you don't accept that? When I tapped it, they said it was done. I, I, I'm so hot. Like I'm, I'm mad at myself for not just bringing, like for having my wallet with me, but I didn't think, it, I thought you could do Apple Pay. Like There are re things, when things like this happen, I completely just, that's why I don't go to Walmart. I'll completely just not go to Costco. Like, I'm good. I don't like it anyway. And for them not to accept Apple Pay is just stupid. They just lost out on business. Makes no logical sense at all. Somebody tell me I'm wrong in the comments. Like, why not accept Apple Pay? I'm done with Costco. So, this is the downside of the gig economy. You... 
forget your card, you make a mistake. I've been out here for an hour, haven't made $1 yet. Not $1. So I only had a few hours today because I got to get back home at 2.15. So I basically just squandered the majority of, or a good chunk of the start of my day. So pretty mad at myself. Pretty pissed at Costco because that's just stupid. I looked up why. I guess I have some kind of partnership with Visa, blah, blah, blah. It's dumb. I don't care what you say. It's stupid. Uh, it's dumb. So now I'm in sitting in this parking lot. They're doing all construction at this Aldi. I tried to see if I can get a good order here. There's nothing on this app. So I'm going to go back home. I'm going to grab my card. I'm going to put it in my car like it usually is. And I'm going to see if I can salvage this afternoon and make some kind of money today. But I'm pretty pissed off. I'm not going to lie. Not happy at all. Like, not even a little bit. I hate wasting my time. But I show you guys everything. So this, we show you the highs and lows, the good, the bads. Learn from my mistake. For all my new people out there doing Instacart, Costco does not do Apple Pay. So, yeah. Lesson learned. So I'm trying to get out of this Aldi parking lot, and it's a shit show. This is a horrible way to start my day. All I can do is laugh at myself. Um, that's all you got to do. Sometimes you have to just laugh at yourself. And part of the gig economy is you're going to have bad days. You're going to have time when you make zero dollars and you waste some gas. At the end of the week, at the end of the month, it will even out. But I'll tell you what, taking a big L today, it is what it is. I'm a clown today. It's what I get for, it's what I get. It's what I get. That's why I'm trying to get myself out of the gig economy because the days like this, it's just not sustainable. It's not good. So this is me with my tail between my legs coming back home after wasting an hour and a half and about $5 worth of gas. I'm gonna get my wallet. I accepted an Uber shop and pay, which is right up the street. Done with Costco. Not going back. All right, there's the wallet. So that's where we go, right here. There you go, you stupid guy. All right, we're at Walgreens. Ding, ding, round two. Let's see if we can't salvage some of this lunchtime. All right, let's grab some soda and some Nicorette. Hello. Hello. All right, so we're on our way to do another Uber Eats shop and pay at Walgreens. Today's been slow. Um, I'm gonna put a screenshot up. I, I just put a community post in a short. This order was $19, 101 items. It's like, oh, $19 on the Instacart. The mileage is good. Could take you an hour to do it, no tip. It'll probably take you an hour to shop it and bag it and drop it off, um, maybe a little bit less. So not horrible in that regard, but human beings that expect, listen, y'all know how I feel about it. It's despicable. Uh, Instacart should be ashamed. They're trying, they're trying to, they got it up to $19. So they're probably not making any money on that themselves, which is whatever. But, um, man. And then it went down to $11. About 15 minutes later, $11. Same order. Same exact order. 11 bucks. <sighs> Today's not my day. I'm doing this Walgreens one. I'm taking an L. We're going to wind up making 11 20, $21. $21 in two and a half hours. It's probably the worst day I've ever had. Um. It is what it is. I got to get back home. I got some things to do. But I, I want a little. I want to share a little message with y'all. This kind of work is good overall, but you're going to have bad days. I'll show you guys the real lot here. Right? The good, the bad, the ugly. I don't sugarcoat anything. Like It is what it is. You're going to see what I get. If I make a mistake like I did this morning, you're going to see it. That definitely cost me some money and some vibes. I didn't have my card, but screw Costco. They suck. I don't like them anyway. I just make money with them, but I ain't going back there again. I'm just, I say that now, but I'm, I'm 91.7% sure I just won't do business with Costco. It's just stupid. Anyways, to the customer that wants me to do your shopping for you, that wants somebody to do the shopping for you, and you can't, you know, you're going to stay, it's cold outside, got some snow on the ground, a little bit of ice. You want me to shop it and bag it and bring it up to you. 101 items at Aldi's is probably, I don't know, it's a lot of bags. Probably 15 bags, 16 bags. You suck. You're miserable. I know. I get it. I'm beating up these customers, but 
I call it how I see it. And if you're offended by that, it's probably because you're miserable as well. And if you're a driver or a shopper that is like, just take it, Pedro. People need to get their groceries. They're this or that. I get it. But this ain't Meals on Wheels. I do other things for my community. I do other things teaching little kids how to play basketball and doing things in my community. This ain't Meals on Wheels. We're trying to make money. Shame on Instacart for sending that order out at 19 and then having it go back down to $11. Shame on the consumer for taking advantage of somebody. Somebody will eventually probably take that order. I want that person to get their groceries. I do because I get it. I don't know their, their situation. But if you're a driver taking that kind of stuff, you're part of the problem. So anybody that's like, no tip, no trip is stupid. It doesn't make sense. Just take it, Pedro. It's $19. Well, you're costing yourself money. Because I'll do this $10 or $11 one that I'm on. Then I'll do another one. And I'll spend less time doing it and make more money. No tip, no trip is a mindset. We also should not be enabling the consumers and the corporations to undervalue our time. It's very simple. So if you're a driver that would take that order and say, I don't care if there's a tip. It's $19, Pedro. I'm going to say something and I want you to hear me loud and clear. I love you because you're a fellow gig driver and you're a hustler and you're out here trying to make your ends meet. But you are a clown and you are part of the problem. And anybody that's offended by that, meet me in the comments. Let's have a debate because I'm feeling a little froggy today and I'm ready to jump off that lily pad. If you take that kind of order and you defend that, you're a clown. Capital C all the way to a capital N. I said what I said and I'm not apologizing for it. That's the video. Sorry it's a little negative, but that's what I got today. It wasn't a good day. I made some mistakes. It is what it is. And, you know, you live and you learn. But... Y'all get the good, the bad, the ugly. I show you my day. I ain't sprinkling no, I ain't sprinkling no sprinkles on these cookies today. We're eating them dry without milk. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.